is a Hell in a Cell match. Making his way to the ring from the end. When it comes to dangerous reality, matches, Byron, it doesn't get any more dangerous than Hell in a Cell. Pounds. No, it does the not, Michael. Man. And to be honest, being so close to this gigantic structure is making it a little difficult for me to concentrate. on the hunt, and I wouldn't want to be in his sights right now. Nailed it. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Heels. He's still got plenty of gas left in his tank, though. There's just no way to prepare yourself for the mental and physical anguish you go through when competing in a Hell in a Cell match. Check this out. Well, that'll break you in half. Got the shoulders down. He's got plenty of gas left in the tank. Uh-uh. You know, no matter how many times I see a Hell in a Cell match, I'm always amazed at what these competitors are willing to put themselves through. Roman Reigns is absolutely on fire right now.
bad spot for him to be in here, guys. He's got to do something to get back in this thing. Hard to dispute Byron's point about what these superstars put themselves through in an environment like this. For whatever reason, when the Hell in a Cell structure is in place, superstars willingly push the boundaries of physical punishment. And then there's people like Shane McMahon who just take that to a whole other level. Oh, Roman Reigns saw that one coming. I don't know about you guys, but for me, there is no greater thrill than being at the announce desk for a Hell in a Cell match. Ooh. Quick thinking to avoid that one. You know, I'm a little surprised, Corey, to hear you talk about the thrill of announcing a Hell in a Cell match, considering you were there when Shane McMahon shattered the announce desk at Hell in a Cell 2017. I was there too, Michael, and I'll tell you, I will never look at Hell in a Cell matches the same after that. You were? Harsh impact. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow. Wow. I thought for sure that was it. Guys, we all know the storied history of Hell in a Cell, but we'd be remiss if we didn't at least mention that the first time anybody laid eyes on this demonic structure was back in October 1997. What's Roman Reigns putting together here? Beautiful technique. There is no toppling the getting it done. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Uh-oh. Superman! Warm up the bus. This one is over. Wow, that should be the final blow. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Comes up big with the reversal. At what point do those thoughts creep in? What do I have to do to put this match to rest? I don't know. I, I don't know as a WWE superstar if you ever have those thoughts of self-doubt. Boom! <laughs> what an assault on Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns' chances just went from bad to worse. When this guy's on, look out. He's looking. Superman punch! To th he goes for the cover. One, two, and he breaks the cover. With all the damage done, you have to wonder how much more it'll take. Full impact! Well, Roman Reigns may have it. Is he done? Somehow he breaks it. He may have broken free cold, but I assure you the damage has already been done. Oh, school the here's the cover. One, two, three. There's the pinfall and the victory. Now let's take a look back at some of the great action. Almost forgot about this one. Remember this? Man, oh man, look at that. Ain't nothing better than action like this. Here is 
your winner, The Masked Man. What a back and forth battle that was. When you get a one-on-one -on -one match like that, you hate to see one of them come up short. But that's just the harsh reality of it. Well, that was indeed a great match. And I think it's worth emphasizing how huge this victory is. Chick, chicky boom, chick, chicky boom, chick, chicky boom.